In this video, we'll talk about the implementation of exception handling. Now, to demonstrate this, let's let's create an example. Let's get a class, and we'll name this as a uh, demo exception. Okay, we could have we should have been using. Let me remove this. Uh, it's a wrong author. Uh, it's not in ready. Yep. Okay, so let me remove this part. Okay, now what I want, I want to put this in package, so we'll say package, let's say x for exception. Again, by default, my class belongs to default package, I want to move that file to this package, so we'll say move class to correct folder. Now you can see we have a package here which is the, uh, uh, x and in this we have demo exception. Let me minimize this, okay, let's go for full screen now. Now what I need, let's say I have a main function here. And uh, as you know, exceptions are of three types, right? Oh, is it three? No. The main class, now uh, if we talk about exception, let me use notepad here. Now, so there's a class called as throwable class. Now, throwable class is used to handle all your, all your exceptions, right? All your errors and exception. This throwable class is uh, extended by two main classes called as exception and errors. Now, what are uh, exceptions? Exceptions are something you can handle. Errors are something that you cannot handle. Like example, your memory goes, uh, let's say your memory is leaking of your JVM or your CPU is not working. All those practical uh, physical errors comes under this error. But what about exceptions? Exceptions are something you can handle. Now, if we talk about exceptions, we have two basic types. One is checked exception and we have unchecked exceptions. Now what exactly checked means, it's something like your NetBeans will, NetBeans will say, hold on, you have an error here. And the unchecked is, even NetBeans don't know what is this exception is all about, okay? Now when you talk about checked, we have two types again, or two basic uh, exceptions comes under this. In fact, there are lots of exceptions, but these are two famous. One is IO exception, second is SQL, exception, this, this comes under a uh, checked exception. And in unchecked, so all your runtime exceptions, runtime exceptions comes under unchecked. So what you have, you have throwable in that, this throwable is extended by exception and error. This exception class is, again we have two types, we have checked and unchecked. In checked we have these two. In unchecked, we have this runtime exception. And then in runtime, you have lots of, lots of, lots of classes. Like add index auto bound exception, then file not found exception, then we have, uh, we have lots of, lots of exceptions. We'll see those exception in this example. We'll try to cover maximum of it. Okay, so now uh, let me start with the code. So let's say I have a variable int i comma j comma k. So I have three variables here. And the value for my i is 5. Uh, we'll, we'll go for some, uh, let's say uh, i is 8 and j is 2. And let me just print the value of k. And what is k? k equal to i divided by j. And I can simply print the value of k, right? Now you can see there is not, there is no error specified by your JVM or NetBeans. Okay. If I run this code, obviously the output you'll be getting is 4, right? Simple. But what if by mistake, if I write it zero, now you will say eight divided by zero is infinity. But in programming language, there's nothing called as infinity. So anything divided by zero in programming guild will throw an exception. And you can see if I run this file, you're getting an exception and exception is arithmetic exception, right? Now what you have to do? All these statements here, they are normal statements and this part here, this is critical statement. So all your critical statements should belongs to try block. That means you're, you're not sure this, the, is it, it will give me an error or not. So we have to say, let's put it in try. I don't know if, if it will give me the error or not. So you have to write a try block. And then if this statement throws an error, you have to catch the error. So depending upon the error type, you have to catch it. Now exception is the main class, so we can handle all the exception using 
uh, exception class. All the uh, yeah, all the exceptions using exception class, and we'll print the exception here. Simple. And instead of printing e, let, let let's print first e. And if I run this code again, uh, you can still see we are getting an error here, but we are also printing this part. Uh, what's the error? Okay, might not be having any slides. Whenever you uh, whenever you put your assignment in a block, make sure your declaration will assign a value. It's because there are chances that this statement might not be executed, and you are writing your k here, right? So let me just uh, yeah, let me run this. Now, if you can see that it's an error, uh, arithmetic exception, the proper format, not in a red color, and the output will be zero. Is because after the error also, since it has throw the, thrown the error, we have handled it, and then we are printing the value. So your execution will flow. It will not stop abruptly. But what if you want to print a normal, a good, like uh, something in this way? Cannot divide by zero. Now if you run this code, Instead of printing those uh, weird message, you can print simply say cannot divide by zero, and this will be understandable by, by, for any user. Let it be a user is from a management background or is from a management team. Still, he can understand what exactly that uh, error means, right? And that's why you should always handle the error using try and catch. And this exception here is unchecked exception. Right. Again, what exactly checked exception means that we'll see in the next part of the tutorial.